Ravioli is a classic Italian dish made of pasta parcels stuffed with cheese and a wide array of fillings. Ravioli is almost always served with a pasta sauce, whether it's creamy like Alfredo or tomato based like a marinara. Both white and red wines are luscious pairings, but how do we decide which wines to pour? In this episode, the crush on this team will explain then share some of our favorite ravioli dishes and a preferred wine for pairing. So enjoy the episode, give it a like, let us know your favorite ravioli in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more. When we think of pairing wine with pasta, we usually consider the sauce, a red tomato based sauce with, a, with spice or a traditional marinara, a creamy rich white Alfredo sauce, or a sauce based on olive oil and herbs are those that pair with a variety of wines. But with ravioli, we need to think about the filling as well as the sauce when we want to explore wine pairing choices. Is the ravioli stuffed with delicate seafood like lobster or crab? perhaps a white burgundy, Chilean Chardonnay, or one of our favorites, a Blanc de Blanc Champagne, or other sparkling wine is a go-to pour. A meat-based ravioli with anything from mild and savory ham and cheese to bold game meats are often on the menu. A suave or gavi would be delicious with that ham and cheese ravioli, and a serious red such as Barolo, Chianti, Nero d'Avola, or Montepulciano di Abruzzo could be on point with a rich veal or beef stuff ravioli. For vegetarian options, mushroom ravioli will pair beautifully with a lush Pinot Noir or a creamy Chardonnay will also work. And a ricotta and spinach ravioli is even more flavorful when Verdicchio or Alberino is in the glass. The wine we choose comes down to our choice of ravioli filling and personal choice, of course. But if in doubt, consider choosing a medium bodied sharp wine such as Montepulciano di Bruzzo, Chianti Classico, or Chardonnay. And now we are ready to share our latest finds. Allison, what ravioli are you pairing with the wine in your glass? Oh my God, it just, I can smell it. I have some fresh homemade butternut squash ravioli Ooh, that I bought delicious. at the farmer's market. And delicious. I love butternut squash ravioli because it's very rich and flavorful, but also has this kind of like coziness to it. So mm. on a cool evening, you know, nothing better than some butternut squash ravioli to warm you up. And, uh, but you can have it year round. Um, and my topping is so, so simple. It's a very, very classic thing to do in Italy. Um, and the perfect thing for this so that you can really taste the butternut squash is to do a brown butter sage sauce. So again, just melt the butter, add some sage, it crisps up, it's perfect. Ooh. So just to uh, get a little start. Mm. Yeah. This is rich. This fills my mouth and there's a sweetness to it. So I'm hoping my choice was perfect. I <laughs> paired it with the Gary Farrell 2019 Richie Vineyard Chardonnay from Sonoma County. And the reason I picked a Chardonnay is I thought that the acidity would cut through the butter and the richness. And that's exactly what it did. You know, Gary Farrell specializes in single vineyard wines and Richie Vineyard planted in 1972 is an absolutely legendary vineyard in Russian River Valley. Absolutely. So it has really pretty notes of lemon, honeysuckle, pear, nectarine, a little chamomile tea. There's a touch of flintiness to it as well, that minerality that is just so inviting. Mm. And all of those um, aromas are on the palate too. I get lemon curd, I get lime zest, beautiful mineral backbone, but it's this, this acidity. There's this creamy texture that lingers, but it's the acidity. And that is just what is a perfect pairing for the richness of this dish. So I'm gonna oh. go and have another bite, Cindy, while you tell us what pasta and wine you have in your glass. Well, my mouth is watering and I can't wait to take try that pairing next time. Mm -hmm. But for today, I have a delectable meal of ravioli stuffed with fresh ricotta, Tuscan kale, roasted garlic, look at that, dried tomatoes, roasted San Marzano tomato sauce, and basil. So this is, you know, screams, I got to get back to Italy soon. So the creamy ricotta, mild kale, 
red sauce and basil, I think it's going to be pretty textured. Absolutely delicious. Let's try it. So a vegetarian pasta to no, no meat in there, right? Mm -hmm. No meat. Mm -hmm. mm. This is why I love ravioli so much. This is the texture. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. My wine for pairing is Perlatera Barallo, the OCG 2018. And it's about $40, which I think is a great price for a high quality Barolo. Absolutely. Um, and it's a new label and only 1,600 cases were produced in this inaugural vintage. Um, it's sourced from many of the finest uh, premium uh, vineyards in Piemonte. Nebbiolo grapes were cultivated on 20 year old vines in sustainable vineyards in the Lange and aged in large oak barrels for 18 months. So let's give this a try. Mm. Herbs, savory, so savory, earth, dark red fruit compost, amazing. Just vibrant acidity and, and, and the tannins are medium, you know, they're not overwhelming. Um, and then on the palate, I've got these ripe fruits and violets. Yeah, I think it's the, Ugh. it's the high acidity with the low tannin. Yes. It's yes. going to work with your dish. Yeah, absolutely. Licorice, black cherries. I mean, this is so good. And it's such a great counterpoint, the texture of the wine and the texture of the, this ravioli and just the taste with the, oh my gosh, this symphony of, of tastes in this ravioli. This is just a great, great pairing. I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to finish that when we're done. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and the glass. I think we've taken ravioli and wine to a new level because it, both pairings are just with elegance and finesse. And I'm really happy about, about this episode. So I hope you all are ready to make um, some ravioli and pair it with wines, maybe take a few tips from this uh, particular episode. Um, we've discovered some important element, elements in pairing wines with ravioli. So I'm excited. So please give our video a like comment on your favorite pairings. Maybe you had something different than us um, and subscribe to our channel for more. Cheers. Cheers.